hey guys uh i didn't want you to leave you out there and think you uh think i want you i didn't want you to think that i'm just some guy who pumps a stock i really am invested in this stock uh I now have bumped up my shares to 81,000 shares. Uh, I just have experienced so many women uh, emotional in panic over this abortion ruling. I, for one, uh, you know, I don't even want to get involved with this type of decision. I can tell you that when I was younger and stupid, uh, I thought I got a girl pregnant and uh, definitely was like, well, you know, is, a, is abortion uh, a possibility? So I think a lot of young people are very emotional about this. Women are very strong in their feelings about uh, everything that's going on with the Supreme Court. Personally, I think the Supreme Court did its job. They're a court, they read the Constitution, and they, they do things accordingly. Now, as far as the stock goes, this ENPH, I do think that this is probably the best stock for the um, for making a profit uh, in the stock market regarding the uh, abortion ruling, uh, it's a big world out there. This is not only being used in the United States; it's being used in many different places. Uh, was I like liking the way the stock acted today? Absolutely not. But let's look at the facts as I understand it. The company has over a billion dollars in cash. Yes, the company does have a lot of debt. However, there's been conversations with their banks that they're going to restructure the debt. Hopefully, they will not do a uh, dilution. Um, it certainly doesn't look that way because, you know, this is not the, act, the stock activity that you would get with a dilution unless they were dumping shares into the market, which is always a possibility. And I don't know if they'd have to tell us about that. Uh, secondly, I think that everyone is aware that this is probably the best play. The uh, uh, Plan B pill uh, is flying off the shelves. Uh, I think that America is going to bring awareness to the rest of the world and that this Plan B uh, pill is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I think the general attitude towards abortion is going to change. America seems to set the pace. Have there been people that figure, well, if I get pregnant, I'll get an abortion? I think there was. And I think that uh, the, the Supreme Court uh, decision has changed that now to people thinking that I need birth control. So that's why I'm here playing with this stock. I'm watching it after hours. It's at 52. Uh, that's when I made my last purchase prior to it dropping to, uh, I think, 48 or 48.50. Um you know, the stock market can be such a risky place and make you nervous as heck. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of news out from the company. But if I've ever invent, invested in a company that I thought was pretty solid, I'd say this. Um, of course, financing now is more expensive than ever uh, because interest rates are up. But if they can get a boost from some of their... Uh, birth control and uh, plan B pills, you know, that'll bring in a lot more cash. Uh, people have talked about a buyout saying it's a $20 uh, stock on a buyout. Uh, you know, who's to say? All I'm here to tell you is kind of to commiserate with you. Uh, I've got 81,000 shares. I bought more when it dropped to 52. Uh, my purchases are at 40 uh, at, uh, let's see, at 60. 40, uh, and then my average was 63. Now my average is like 61 after I made some other purchases as it was rising because I really thought it was going to go to $2 or more. So, you know, I'm just a regular person like you are uh, trying to make, you know, the big hit. Uh, you know, I was telling my friends, hey, you know, I can make 80 grand on this. Uh, and I think that we still can make pretty good money. Uh, you know, Ireland, you know, just to discuss Ireland, uh, that's where a lot of the pharmaceuticals are, are manufactured. And they have a really positive uh, tax uh, situation in Ireland. And they've got great people that actually create the drugs. So, you know, we may be in the right stock. Uh, I'd also like to mention that I'm in another stock from Ireland called ITRM. Uh, that stock jumped up today, too. Actually, a couple of biotechs 
jumped up uh, while this was diving down. But um, what else can I tell you about what I know about this? I think there was definitely some manipulation. Some people came in. Uh, I think the big institutions were definitely shorting, uh, even though the stock, you know, got up to 97. And I think you have to be aware that they can do the same thing again. If this gets up to $2 or a dollar, you know, that's another danger zone. These, these institutions are ruthless. They love to short after they own a stock, uh, you know, even if they bought it at a much higher price. Think about it. They buy a stock for 2 or $3. They've got, you know, 10 million shares. Price jumps up. They're like, well, let's make some money to cut our cost down per share. So they start shorting it. They take that money, and now it offsets the price of the stock that they, they had. So, you know, fingers crossed. I hope that we all make some money. My name is Mark Nejma. I do not give financial advice. I'm a roofer. You shouldn't take advice from a roofer. But being a roofer that lives alone, I guess uh, I'm kind of talking to the walls. Right now, you're the walls. So I hope that you have a great night. Uh, God bless, and I hope we all win. If we start to lose more, then I guess I'm going to be out, and and then I'm going to be into another stock. I, I'm trying to make a living doing this, and I, I really enjoy it. I, I enjoy following the news. And by the way, I report the news every day on my channel. So if you would, please like this video and please subscribe. I guarantee you, you'll get some news that you're not uh, familiar with on a daily basis. And you, at least you'll get my insight. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.